Good morning, I'm Clint Griffiths. As we've seen, crop conditions have continued to decline over the past few weeks. Now USDA is cutting its yield forecast for those crops. The agency in its latest supply and demand report once again making cuts to yield forecast. It's now calling for corn yields of 173.8 bushels to the acre. Now that's down 1.3 bushels from last month, with production now forecast to be 15.1 billion bushels. That's actually up less than 1% from last month with USDA saying a greater harvested area more than offsets that cut in yield. And that surprised the market. It's also up 10% from last year. Soybeans now forecast to be 50.1 bushels to the acre, which is down slightly less than a bushel from last month. Production that's now forecast to be 4.1 billion bushels, down 1% from a month ago and down 3% from last year. Checking those ending stocks, both old and new, for corn, old crop at 1.45 billion bushels, still in the bin, about 5 million lower than last month, while new stocks are in at 2.22 billion, slightly higher than last month. Soybean stocks coming in lower from a month ago, with old crop at 250 million and new crop at 220 million. Ag Day's Michelle Rook joins us now. And Michelle, a sea of red on the board after the release of the numbers on Tuesday. Clinton, the September WASD was a disappointment for the bulls, especially on corn. Now, while USDA did cut yield as expected, they also increased harvested acres, which offset that cut and resulted in an increase in ending stocks. Meanwhile, in soybeans, USDA did tighten the balance sheet, but not as much as the trade had expected. Corn yields dropped in many states as expected, with Illinois and Minnesota down three bushels. Nebraska was down seven bushels, but the 1.3 bushel drop nationally was disappointing. A lot of analysts, uh, brokers for that matter, uh, really looking for numbers you know, to drop a lot more than that. And the fact that they didn't, I think, is the biggest problem that we have here today. And the lower yield was more than offset by higher acreage. USDA incorporated the August FSA data and came up with 800,000 more harvested acres of corn. Seifert says the 591 crop insurance guarantee and some lower input costs in the spring encouraged more corn. So even with the yield cut, production and ending stocks were raised 20 million bushels. Still well above that 2.2 billion bushel carryover, and that is a problem for corn. And the fact that production went up, yet they didn't do anything to increase demand, well, that, that, oh, that, that just irks, right? For soybeans, USDA lowered yield about as expected by 0.8 bushels per acre with a six bushel drop in Kansas, three in Nebraska and four in Wisconsin. Here they only raised harvested acres by 100,000, resulting in a 60 million bushel drop in production. But ending stocks dropped only 25 million as USDA cut demand. 207 was the average trade guess for carryover on a yield that was slightly higher than what the USDA gave us. So for the fact that that yield came in lower than the trade guess, but they had a, a carryover at a 220 million bushel carryover instead of like 205, that's the rub. You know, the USDA was able to cut 35 million bushels off of exports. They were able to cut 10 million bushels off of crush. On wheat, USDA left ending stocks unchanged at 615 million bushels, but lowered world carryover by 7 million metric tons. For cotton, production and ending stocks were lowered on a U.S. and world basis. I'm Michelle Rook reporting for Ag Day.